Hi, I'm Andrew from the Connecticut Science Center, and this is my daughter, Samantha. Hello. And what are we going to be making today, Samantha? A lava lamp. A lava lamp. Now, why do you want to make a lava lamp? Because I was worried about my other one breaking. It's upstairs. The table is wobbly. The table is wobbly. And you don't want yours to break, right? Yes, because it's glass. Because it's glass. So we're going to make one out of some things you have at home. So first, we're going to need a, an empty bottle, plastic bottle. And I'm going to fill it with some water. Put a little bit of water in it, about halfway or so. Is that actual lava? Are we going to put actual lava in there? That's a great question. What do you think? Hmm. Is it going to be actual lava in this lamp? Where do you get it? Where would you get real lava? Crocodile. I don't think crocodiles have lava. Lava lasers? Lava lasers? I don't think so. No, we're not going to be using real lava. We're going to be using cooking oil. This is just vegetable oil. Um, and this is going to be the, take the place of our lava in our lamp. So the first thing you can do if you like is you can color the water. And for that you just need regular food coloring. So we have yellow, blue, and green. Which, which one would you like? Hmm. I think green. Green. Good choice. So we'll take some green. And do you want to put it in? Yeah. So you want to hold this and just put it over here. Here, I'll bring it down. You can put couple drops right in. Just tip it upside down. Two drops in. Give it a squeeze. There we go. All right. All right. So take that out. Put it on the table. The one drop that not actually go in. That's okay. Because now, why don't you give that a little shake. All right. So now we've got our water colored. Can we eat this? Everything in here is safe to eat, but I don't think we're going to want to eat it. Because it's going to be cooking oil and water. And, and we're going to add a special surprise after, yeah. So we're going to do some, put some cooking oil in. Now, you can just put the cooking oil straight in. It's kind of yellowy. Or you can add a uh, special dye to it. Now, this has to be dye that can be mixed up with oil. This stuff can be mixed up with water, but it will not mix in the oil. So we have yellow and orange. Which color would you like? Orange? All right, so I'm going to open up the orange here. So we're going to take a little of our orange food coloring, and you don't need a lot. I'm going to put it in here, because orange is going to make it look like what? What's it going to look like if we put orange food dye in here? What else is orange? That comes from the earth, and is red, red hot. Lava. Lava. It's gonna look like lava. So Wait, technically, lava is red. It is red. It could be orange too, though. So now we've got sort of a nice orange. And it also has black in it because it's burnt. It's burnt, right? It can be burnt too. So we've got a nice orange glow to our food dye, and we're just gonna put this up. And you want to do want to remember to keep uh, newspapers and stuff out. We don't want to make too much of a mess here. So make sure you cap up all your food coloring as you go. We're technically standing on lava, like the center of the earth is technically lava. It is, yes. The center of the earth, there is lava inside the earth right under us right now, and we're going to make some up here. So we're going to very carefully pour in our orange lava. Are we going to pour in all of them? Uh, we're going to see. We're going to pour in some of it. Bubbles? Yeah, so we're making what looks like bubbles, but this is really our oil, and it doesn't mix with the water. So you can see it kind of gathering on the top there. And we're going to put in a bunch of that oil. I don't know how much we put in here, about a cup or two. You can mix it up. Do as little or as much as you want. Whoa. Now that we've got our, our lava lamp, all right, we've got it. Why don't you tip that upside down? And then right side up. Mm. And there you go. We've got a nice lava looking lamp here. We've got the oil on top. That's the oil and the water on the bottom. Now, you wanted to add something else to your lava lamp. What else did you want to add to it? Glitter. Glitter. All right. So we're going to add some glitter because why not? Um, right? But you don't want to put too much in. So you want to make like um, a foil little, like a paper funnel. 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 Yeah. There it is. We're going to make a funnel. So you want she knows to how to do it. She's the glitter master. Um. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, right there. Keep turning. There. Okay. You may have to stand up for this one. Or I'll hold it down here. 
We can hold it down here, I guess. So very carefully shake it into the Hold on. I need funnel. to sit on my knees. Yep, that's a good idea. Okay. Shake it in there. Go ahead. Oh, there it goes. All right, that's probably pretty good. That's a lot of glitter. We have a lot of glitter in there. Oh, now yeah, that's a lot. Put the cap back on. And do you want to give that a shake and see what you think? Yeah. Tip it upside down, mix it all up. Yeah! Okay, now put it down and just watch the, the lava. Now there is one more thing you can do if you want to make a special effect in your glitter, and that is to add some antacid taps, some Alka-Seltzer. And that's going to make it fizz. But you do want to be careful not to add too much. So we're just going to put in maybe half a tablet. Oh, I know what those are. Yeah. They kind of, like, in Rick and Ralph, they make candy like uh... They do make, these are not candy. This is a medicine. Why don't you drop that in? And we'll watch what happens. Oh, uh, that fizzles. It fizzles. You can see it fizzling. Bit. We don't want to tighten this up too much so we get too much pressure in there. But you can see it's starting to really fizz and mix things up in our lava lamp. Um, and if you want to make it glow, what we're going to do? Yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to add a light underneath it, right? Yeah. But can I also screw this real tight so if it yeah, That's a good idea. Why don't you put that on? Here, do you want to turn the light on? Now you can have have it glowing from underneath. Let's turn the light off. See what sure. I'm... All right. So there you have it. It's a homemade lava lamp. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. yeah. Let's let go and see if it falls. Yeah. There you go. So if it falls, it doesn't break. It's a good idea, yeah. It's an even better lava lamp. It's made of plastic, so it won't break, right? And it's... Um, helpful to the environment. It's helpful to the environment, yeah. So we hope you do this at home. Yeah, and if you do, tag us at hashtag science at play or check out our website at ctsciencecenter.org for more great ideas. Thanks, Samantha. You're welcome. All right. Thanks, guys. Have fun.